Hello and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to create a threaded nut using the additive helix tool and a subtractive box, both of which are found in the FreeCAD part design workbench. To get started, let's make sure we're using the part design workbench here. Then we want to create a new file, a new body, and a new sketch. And we want to create the sketch in the YZ plane. Next we want to click on this tool right here, anchor it to the center, then select this side and click here to make it vertical. Now we're going to set the width by clicking these two points, clicking right here, and setting the width to 1.6 inches. Now we close the sketch and select the pad tool and pad the sketch to 0.6 inches. And here is the body of our nut. Next we're going to create a hole in the nut. Click on this face, then create a new sketch Get the circle tool, make sure we anchor it to the center, click close, click on the subtractive pocket tool right here. We're going to make sure that it goes all the way through, through all, and we're going to set the diameter of the hole to one inch. Now we're going to create our thread cutter. To do that first we'll change our view. Then we'll create a new sketch. We'll create it on the XY plane. We'll get the polyline tool. We'll start up here and create a horizontal line come down, another horizontal line, and back to the beginning. Next we're going to constrain the thread cutter. We're going to begin by selecting these two lines and making them equal length by clicking on this tool. Next we're going to set the width of the top, select the line, select this tool, we're going to set the width to point one, two, five inches, and that is our pitch. We'll zoom in, move this dimension to the right. Now we're going to set the width of this line, and that width will be point zero three zero inches. Now let's reposition this dimension down and over. Next we want to set the height. So we click this point and this point and this tool and our height is going to be 0 0.120 inches. And let's move that dimension down to just about there. Some of these dimensions are getting a little hard to read on this default FreeCAD background, so we're going to change it. We're going to click on Edit, Preferences, Display, Colors, and you'll see the default is the color of the background is gradient. We're going to change that to a solid color, and we're going to make that black. Now this is not always a good idea because some things in FreeCAD will not appear on a black background, but in this case we're going to be fine and it certainly makes the colors snap out a little better. Many users use a gray background, but we're going with a black for the rest of this tutorial. So next we're going to begin to position the thread cutter relative to the nut. 
And to do that, we're going to need a construction line. Click on this tool, click on the line tool, and we're going to draw that construction line right here. Make sure it's horizontal. Notice that it's blue. That tells us it's a construction line. And as a reminder, construction lines are for reference only. They have no effect on the model. Now we want to set the distance from this end of the construction line to this point on the thread cutter vertically. Click this tool and we're going to change that to 14.5 thousandths. Click OK. Now let's reposition this dimension. Park it right about here. Let's tweak this just a little more. We'll make our construction line a little longer. We'll move this dimension up a little higher. Next, we're going to set a distance from this point on the construction line to the center of the nut. We're going to make that vertical dimension and we're going to set that at 0.5 inches. Now one more dimension from this point on the thread cutter again to the center of the nut. That's going to be horizontal dimension and that's going to be 0.1 inches. Now let's clean up our dimensions. We'll put this guy right here. We'll put this guy up here. This 30 thousandths can live right here. And let's bring this in. We'll bring the this end of the construction line in and this one. Remember that's only for reference. And there we go. And before we close the sketch and create our threads, I want to reposition here a little bit. To the middle and zoom in some so that you can get a full view of how we've created this thread cutter and set it up relative to the nut. Again, this point here is a half inch from the center line on the nut. And the thread cutter from here to the edge is 0.1 inches. We're point 0.125 across here, 30 thousandths here, and 0.120 inches vertically. And 14.5 thousandths inches from the construction line to the top of the thread cutter. Now we're ready to create our threads. Let's close the sketch. Let's click here on the additive helix tool. And we're going to set the pitch to 0.125 inches. 0.125. And we're going to set the length of the thread, which they call the height, to 0.9 inches. And we're going to say we want the threads to go along this axis. There we go. Now let's click OK. And we've added threads to the inside of the nut, which you can clearly see. Change our view. Now you can see that the additive helix tool actually added threads outside of the nut's body on the left side and on the right side here. It's very tricky to get the tool to start so that the threads begin precisely at the left edge of the nut and then precisely at the right side of the nut. So we're going to use a trick to make that happen. And to do that, we're going to use the subtractive box right here. And we're going to set these dimensions here, the length, width, and height, Length is 2 inches. 
width is 2 inches and we'll make the height 0.5. Now we're going to rotate the nut so we can reach this face over here. We're going to select this face. And next we're going to change the X direction down here to minus 1. And the Y direction to minus 1. Let's change our view. Get a perspective front view, and the side view. And you can see that, let's reposition that and rotate it. You can see that this subtractive box is lined up basically tangent to the nut. Okay, let's change our view here. Click OK. And voila, the threads no longer extend out the right-hand side. Let's do the same thing for the left side of the nut. We'll click this Subtractive Box tool. Takes it a moment. We're going to set the length to 2 inches, the width to 2 inches, and the height to 0.5 inches. Next, we're going to rotate the nut so that we can get to the other face. We select this face, and we come down, and this time we're going to change the Y direction to minus 2 inches. And let's reposition and take a look. And you can see that we're lined up tangent to the side of the nut. Let's click OK. And kaboom. Our nut is done. We can rotate around and see the threads inside of the nut. However, it's a little hard to see. So we want to convince ourselves that FreeCAD actually added the material inside the nut to create the threads. So to do that, let's go back to this view, and we're going to delete the two subtractive boxes. That'll make the threads reappear on the left and right hand side of the nut. And we're going to once again create a subtractive box with this tool here. Give it a minute. And we're going to make the length, width, and height all equal to two inches. Two, two, two. Give it a moment, catch up. Next we're going to rotate and select this face. And then we're going to come down and set the Y direction to minus one. Minus one. And we're going to set the Z direction to minus 1.2. And let's change our view. And look at it from this way. And you'll see, look at it from the side, I should say, that the subtractive box is going to subtract away half of the nut. I'll rotate it a little bit so you can kind of get the idea. This is going to give us a cutaway view so we can see that the threads were, in fact, added to the inside of the nut. So we'll go to this view here. Let's make it this view here. We'll click OK. Give it a moment. Now we'll click this view here. Let's try the other side. And how about this one? There we go. Now, we can clearly see that the threads were, in fact, added. I'll zoom in. Rotate around. And you can see the additive helix tool actually added the thread material 
inside of the nut. We'll cut back now to our completed nut and you can see that indeed the threads are inside. They do not extend out over the edges because we used the two subtractive box tools to basically cut off the additive threads that extended out beyond each side of the nut. Hopefully this will give you some idea of how to use the additive helix tool and also the subtractive box to help create the part that you may wish to design. Thanks for watching.